fine. I, it, it, just it's my first time uh, being at a conference and speaking a foreign language, so I don't quite used to uh, okay. what's happening. Um, Go ahead. Fine. Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Savelli. I'm one of co-authors of the paper, uh, and I, I will be talking about uh, COVID, COVID forecasting for for Russia regions. Um, so uh, it, it, this is important because uh, if you know uh, how many uh, confirmed cases you have uh, in the next few weeks, you can plan ahead uh, countermeasures, hospital beds, or whatever. It's uh, useful. Um, and last year, uh, the, the last year best models uh, that models that showed the best accuracy during retrospective testing uh, on history samples. Uh, where tomorrow is today, SIR and exponential smoothing, which are uh, simple and um, <laughs> well, uh, SIR is uh, modeling, but uh, it's therefore a sim sim simple model uh, which uh, which doesn't require a large uh, training samples. Actually, it doesn't require any. Uh, neural, neural networks therefore showed uh, the, uh, quite bad accuracy last last year. Uh, so because of uh, lack of training samples. So uh, current work. Uh, uh, use a retrospective evaluation on new data to see if anything changed during last year and if on Russian data uh, neural networks can uh, with current amount of data show comparable accuracy with uh, such simple models which was the best last year. So uh, I'd like to start with uh, data sets that we have um, there is a Yandex data lens. And it collects uh, daily statistics on cumulative confirmed, uh, recovered, and um, death cases um, for each each day since third uh, March of 2020. Uh, to, uh, to, to today, but th this paper was kind of half a year ago written. And that's why data was limited uh, to February. Uh, it has car, uh, uh, the data set experiments were com conducted on, uh, contained uh, 700 uh, days uh, for each of 85 regions, which are quite large amount of samples. Uh, and th th that is the point of the article to try neural networks because uh, some, uh, that set becomes larger. So how, how do we prepare uh, our data? We no normalize, um, we take a confirmed cases in each region and normalize it uh, to population. Um, all timeline is split equally into five parts and uh, it um, these five parts are used uh, to form four folds, which, which contains trained part and test part. Test parts always uh, has the same length, while trained part uh, increases with each fold by uh, one, um, one one fifth of the da data. And basically, you use a uh, larger uh, larger larger training samples uh, with each fault so uh, we can see is the dynamic how model in, uh, behaves with uh, such increase uh, current paper compares three forecast approaches uh, it's po population dynamics models statistical models uh, here it's exponential smoothing and uh, neural networks uh, that uses samples from all regions. So basically, it's one model for all 85 uh, Russian regions. 
Uh, the target value of forecast uh, in current paper is uh, confirmed cases for 14 days. Um, uh, the popula uh, population models uh, that uh, this paper describes is uh, CIR. It's quite known for epidemic forecasting. Uh, it stands for uh, suspended, uh, suspected infected rem removed. Suspected uh, all, all people. Uh, this model uh, it uh, splits population in, into three groups. First is uh, su suspect gr groups that that's uh, people who can be hypothetically infected. Uh, so from suspected group, one can go to infected group, and therefore, after it's a uh, person has been infected, he uh, either dies or recover, and uh, therefore he goes into removed group. And the, the model basically uh, is uh, these three differential equations uh, with constant coefficients of beta and gamma that uh, speed of uh, transferring be between groups, suspended to infected, infected to removed. Um, so uh, if you will differentiate, uh, like, we, we take the derivative with, with step one, you will get the following uh, equations, which from which you can uh, derivate uh, the beta on current day. And if you know the beta on uh, today, you can uh, cal calculate how many uh, sus suspended cases will be to the next day. And therefore, you can uh, do, do this 15 times and ca calculate the difference between 15th day uh, since today and first. And that will be the total number of co confirmed cases uh, in a period. Uh, the CIR uh, model differs uh, that beta isn't uh, can, uh, isn't uh, constant. Uh, it uh, uh, it is uh, after 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 regressively calculated for each uh, for each day between first and fifteenth, and uh, that's the population models this paper the idea of population models this paper describes. Um, we also consider exponential smoothing as that will, was uh, one of the best models uh, during last year on Russia. Uh, and we do two versions of it. One goes by daily cases, one goes by uh, moving some cases. Uh, that, that one go, that goes by daily cases uh, forecasts daily cases and therefore sums up. Uh, one that goes by moving sums predict uh, with 15 moving sum, like uh, like uh, model before. Um, the neural network that we use uh, looks like this. Um, it uh, takes uh, as input uh, all samples. Uh, from training part, they are uh, split with moving window by uh, to 25, 28 days, and uh, for out it's 14 days. And uh, it uh, uses uh, all some examples from uh, all regions. So uh, it also uses ID region, vectorize it, and uh, uh, therefore concatenates this with uh, LSTM output. After it goes to dense, and uh, therefore it goes to output. Mm. So he here you can see the forecast example. Uh, he, uh, one can see that uh, LSTM on first fault uh, is the worst model because of uh, lack of uh, tra training examples in training sample. But as uh, time goes on, it be becomes uh, similar to other models, which is good. And here are the results that the paper shows. Uh, 
uh, b basically what do you, what do you need to see that all models are pretty much uh, the same except for the first fault where uh, L LSTM are significantly significantly worse uh, so due to lack of examples but uh, after first fault uh, the accuracies are pretty much the same um, and the here you can see the averages of uh, for, for Moscow and for Russia as a whole. Um, also, uh, it's uh, of course it's better for sm smooth lines as Russia as a whole to use uh, most simple models uh, that, that uh, gives less noise during for forecasts so the difference between lstm for russia uh, and uh, simple models uh, pretty significant but for uh, other regions such as moscow uh, it uh, it's pre pretty similar and for the last cases it even uh, shows better results a little uh, for last faults uh, and this column is uh, the same split on four faults, but uh, to the last date is considered February 2021. So it's it these numbers cannot be derived from the table that you see here, and that's pretty much pretty much the same. Well, I, that's pretty much all. Uh, I mean, if you have any questions, I just that's my first time. I don't know what else to say to do. I'd be glad to answer. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. I'm, I'm a st current a student, and that's my first time participating oh, okay. in, okay. the, in the conference. So that's why I'm so um, in, in con <laughs> inconsequent. Uh, in you did my... great. Thank you. Is no, there any, any questions from the auditory? Do we have any questions? For Sabertia Saveli? Okay. 